Hey guys, before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel before we do anything else. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the bell, and all that good stuff, and make sure to join our new Facebook group. Not a page, the group. And I'll put the link on here, make sure to go there, talk to all of our members, and talk to us anytime you want. Yep. Alright? Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Movie Cranks. I'm Larry, and this is Mike. And I was actually researching this a little bit on IMDb earlier today, and I didn't realize... Do you know how many Invisible Man movies have been made over the years? It's literally... Oh, I would imagine... Almost as popular as like a James Bond. Yeah. I mean, they've had TV shows, TV series. Oh, yeah. The last one I remember... Black though, and Whites. Yeah. The last one I remember, though, was Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon, yeah. Elizabeth Shue. CGI was absolutely horrific. Remember when he's changing over and he's getting all muscly and everything? I did. I did somewhat enjoy that movie, but I just kind of remember being bored. <laughs> there was like a half the movie where I think I was bored. Yeah, but that was it, years. It's not ago. bad. It's not great either. Yeah, but those all kind of follow the same pattern. Pattern. There's always in the earlier ones a nice guy, scientist, working on genes or a pill. Or something to make him physically invisible. Right. And it's usually an accident. Yeah. And what always happens? Yeah. He finds out he can't revert himself back. It makes him mad. He starts terrorizing people. Yeah. Well, this one, it's a little different. It throws you for a complete loop on that whole idea. And I like that. As the attorney representing Adrian's trust, I'm required to read a prepared statement. Cecilia, although our relationship was far from perfect, I thought that you would talk to me rather than run away. Are you okay? Yeah, he he wakes up. She's leaving him. And the, the, I kind of saw his face. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know what this guy looks like. Yeah. <laughs> During the rest of the movie. <laughs> because it starts off with her leaving him. And it's in the dark. Yeah, he's asleep. She leaves him. Yeah. And then I guess he chases her. And then after all this, he commits suicide. Yeah, that's the rub is... She's basically now free to go yeah. about her life, she thinks. And as she gets back in the groove and starts getting out again, because she was locked in home, this is all in the trailer, she starts going back out and making her life normal again, trying to get a job, all this stuff. But then certain horrible things start creeping yeah. back. I really like this movie, I think. I, I wouldn't say it's the greatest movie I've ever seen. But to me, they just... It's, a, it's one of the really good movies. There is one thing, though, I will say before I start this. I wish they would have done... What's that? Not named an Invisible Man. Subvert our attention till the end. Make us think this could be like a demon or some sort of spirit. I think it would have made it a little scarier. But we know the whole time yeah. what's going on. And that's going to be a big part of the review, too, is the, the idea of this story's been done so many times. You kind of know the beats as they're coming along, and that's one problem with this, is a lot of familiarity. Yeah. You kind of know what's happening, and you know what's going to happen, and it, it feels very similar in and that, ways. That all, like, like I said, stems kind of in a way to the title, the Invisible yeah. Man, you know what it is. And that's really the only problem I have with this movie. I thought the acting was great. I it thought was it was incredible. Elizabeth Elizabeth was really good acting out of the, the not only the female lead, yeah. Elizabeth Moss, you want to have an empowered, good well-rounded character that yeah. has great motivation, fear, suffering. I mean, she suffers I during mean, half the movie. Well, to say it's finally a good, powerful female lead yes. that you can enjoy. Yeah, you take can... note because she doesn't give up. Yeah. This whole movie, she just gets the living S beaten out of her. And she's just victimized and beaten and, and tortured. And I thought, oh, she's going to break. But no. She surprises you and me in this movie because she is a very good, powerful female lead. Yep. And what comes with that? And that's one thing I feel like I need to talk about. The best thing that comes with this movie, you also got her friends. Yes. And he's got a daughter. And they're very good in this movie as well. And he supports her through this whole thing. Yeah. 
tell you who it is. It's Aldous Hodge, who plays James, yeah. who's kind of like a cop detective caretaker for her yeah. because he knows what she's been through. Yeah, and there's things that happen yeah. that test the limits of their friendship. Right. Oh, you know? terrible things happen, and especially when it starts getting into the third exactly. act. The other actress, Storm Reed plays the little girl mm -hmm. and she becomes kind of like a mother to her and a friend and there's some powerful scenes with her she's did excellent in this her scenes were some of the best i thought in there yeah i the scene she's in she's good very personable yeah yeah uh, you really do feel a connection between her and the kid yes with the gift and everything All of them. even even her with the uh, the detective their chemistry, like the way they were laughing and hanging out and doing stuff around the house and yeah. being this, it, it felt great. It felt like a normal couple of people in a bad <laughs> yeah, situation. Yeah, you said it right there because sometimes you do feel like almost like a couple. Kind of, but they because didn't push I, it. When I, I seen the trailer, I thought there was going to be somebody else involved here. I thought he was going to yes. have a wife and he doesn't. Yeah. But what it is, is it's her sister. Are you okay? What happened to him? He cut his wrists. Per his final wishes, you're getting five million dollars. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. He can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. This man is after revenge against her for yeah. trying to leave. And that we've seen that before. Uh, the Jennifer Lopez movie. Um, to where she has to escape her ex, who's yeah. really psychotic and abusive. Yeah, and like I was telling you, there's the one with Julia Roberts, right? Too, where the guy's just like a neat freak, and he's got little towels, yeah. and he wraps them up, yeah. And they gotta be perfect, yep. or you get in the beat. The his and her towel set, and, yeah. and in the, usually it involves violence. This guy was there was a lot of psychological horror here. Yeah, and let's talk about the horror of the movie. Um, this is technically a thriller suspense horror movie. Yeah, I mean, I felt, I felt suspense. I felt, for the first time this year with a horror movie, I felt nervous, panicked at times. There was times where I, was, I wouldn't breathe because the character was being stalked by an invisible foe. And that kind of stuff really gets you going. I mean, the recent, we watched recently The Thing. This kind of had those scary elements to where you don't know what's going to happen next because you can't see anything. Yeah. And it, your mind starts going crazy. But you know he's there. And there's a times Sometimes. You, you even try to look for it. Yes. And you go, I think I've seen, I think I've seen an outline. That will kill is you. That, is that, or is that, is that like some yes. paint on the wall? I don't know what's going on. Because here's <laughs> the thing. I noticed that they never played around. Like, he never... Like threw spoons around well, or did stupid stuff. Uh, he does a couple little things, at the but it was intentional. Yeah, where he steps on the blanket. Yep, and that was there that was, was creepy. Scenes. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be a person to wake up at night and it was terrifying. pull a blanket and it felt like you were in a bad dream. It, yeah. it did. It there's moments in this movie where it felt like you were in a nightmare because it was so weird. Like the things happening were so horrible and strange, you know, with this guy. Yeah. There is one thing I do want to talk about too. I thought the cinematography, yeah. the way it was shot, it was, it was all nice. There wasn't any shaky cam, except for maybe when you need it. This guy had a beautiful house. Yep. It was like the mansion we seen with Jennifer Lopez's movie. It was beautiful. It was on the ocean. The ocean. It was absolutely oh, incredible looking. When I seen that, I was like, how could you wall leave? the wall oceans? <laughs> and that was the thing. He gave her everything. Like if you were someone looking in, well, that's where he. You'd has, be jealous of her. Well, that's where he has control because that's what she fears. Yeah. He literally controls everything. every aspect of her life. She right. says at one time, he controls my thinking, my thoughts, my, my feelings, thoughts, and he has me now at this point. Yeah, believing what he tells me is right and wrong. I'm scared. You don't have to be scared of him anymore. He was a sociopath, completely in control of everything. He said that wherever I went, he would find me, walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. If I was going to sum up some of the things that I didn't care about in this movie, it would probably be, if this was a three-part structure story, the first two parts... The setting up of his character and what she's going through is the first part, the one third of the movie, the first third. That was pretty good. It it started off great. It showed her escape. And I'm not gonna go any farther into that. It's just it starts yeah. off with her escape, which we've seen before in other ones yeah. before. The, 
So the second act. The second act is where it drags. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking like deploying a parachute <laughs> kind of dragging. It gets a little slow in the middle half, Ooh. which is why I think if I was going to make this movie, which I know I'll probably hear, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I think it should have opened up with a, a moment maybe of him showing him how bad he really is. Yeah. We never really got to see that. You never really get to see... She says he was violent. Yeah, he says he was violent. And that's one thing at the end that I kind of got... I felt I was seeing her walk away and I'm thinking... Was he really a bad guy, or is this something? That's part of the psychology. Or is this here. a twist here yeah. that I, you know, you don't really know, even in the end. Exactly there are twists. There are twists to the story, and we're not going to name anything or give any hints. No. It there, it, but it will take you by surprise. Now, I called it. I looked at Larry and I said, "You watch. <laughs> this is going to happen." <laughs> you did, and it was exactly that. Yeah, and when you said that, I immediately went in my head. I was like, yes. "Oh, you're right. It's some family related." Yeah. So that's all I can say. Yeah. Um. The second act, the second act dragged because they were trying to show him torturing her. Yeah. And the problem is they dragged it on way too long. It started with things around the house, and then it started with like spooky things happening in bed, and then it became videos, and then it became emails, and then it became the. And after a while, I'm like, okay, can we please <laughs> stop torturing the lead character of the movie? <laughs> But then, then it happens. Then the the, the moment happens. with the sister, yes. and everything turns around when yeah. she gets put in the mental health facility, and you're just like, Holy "Well, people shit. stop believing her. People yeah. literally cannot handle this because she seems like a lunatic." Yeah. And my favorite moment of the movie is literally that hall scene. Oh yeah, where he's just wreaking havoc. Yes. Because the power you would have, if you were invisible, you're basically almost like superhuman. It's like those movies. It's it's a hallway fight. Yeah. It's like Snowpiercer or any other, any other hallway battle where it's very limited room, except you have someone that may not be there. And you know, it is you know what it's kind of like? <laughs> I just thought of it. Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> yeah. It had that same throwing them to the wall and yeah. smashing them to the, the freaking desks. I mean, but here's what's weird, though. He didn't carry out the violence to an extreme level. Lay down. He's right there. He's right behind you. There's there's a lot of scenes where I thought they were going to go way overboard, and he was just going to get bloody violent in like a. Like, it was going to be just splattered everywhere. <laughs> but they didn't do that. They kept it sensible. You yeah. know, they, they didn't overdo the gore or any of that stuff, which I liked. I thought I thought they handled that well. But that third act, when it kicks in and he's revealed yeah. and the public starts to know about him, oh, my God, that is when the movie is just going Perfect. I mean, that if that third act was the whole movie, this would have been an A plus throughout yeah. the whole thing. Sometimes, man, that's all you can ask for. It's just a good ending. Yes, you it know? had a great ending. There's no bait. There's no sequel baiting. There's no nothing. <laughs> it's a final effing story. It's a you know final what? ending. You're right. There was no sequel baiting. No, thank God. And I thought maybe there was going to be when basically that ending Ugh. started i was like you know what there's gonna they be had a, a chance and that's why i like to give these guys props they had a chance to turn this into a franchise and they even said they don't want to be known as part of the dark universe i guess yeah because that's been something going around and i don't blame them this was a hundred times better than the dark universe oh yeah if they brought the dark universe back and made movies like this oh god it would work she totally outacted tom cruise <laughs> no When it came, when it, if you compare his movie, The Mummy, to her yeah. acting in this, hands no, down, Marv. smoked him. Yeah, the guy, um, it's yeah. something Cohen. I he can't was remember. in Haunting of Hill House. Yes, I'm with you on this one. Uh, Oliver Jack, oh Oliver Jackson Cohen. Yeah, 
he, he plays the husband, uh, Adrian, who is the main central character behind all this. He's the mm-hmm. guy that developed the tech and the guy that's bringing hell upon her. Yeah. Problem. Go ahead. Well, that's the problem that I kind of talked about earlier. You don't see him ever be a bad guy. No. The audience can make their own decision. Yeah. And that is great. I like how they give the audience the chance to make their own conclusion. And yeah. that's what happens. And no, no lie. It literally, you walk out of there. You can really think. You can make up your own story. You can make up the ending yourself. Yep. Um, you can say it was this, or you can say it was that. But back to Cohen. The only thing, and this is what I was telling you on the way back. With Hannibal Lecter, you had a guy that was really brilliant. But you knew he was. It wasn't like a gimmick or like you had to see him typing on computers. He was so well done with Anthony Hopkins that you knew he was dangerous and smart. Yep. Then you got Mr. Cohen here, who comes off as a Wall Street banker in his 30s that loves to surf. <laughs> I, I know it sounds bad, but that's the way he comes off. Yeah, I, well, I think... What part of him screamed brilliant well, scientist? Well, that's, that's where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant scientist. Zero. Because if you let everybody know this is yeah. Hannibal Lecter, then you know he's the bad guy. And they I, think were... they, I think they really did want to subvert your attention at the yes. end th- to make up your own decision. I think that's the whole point. I just wish he had a little bit more of a darker element to him. Yeah, I, I would have like felt I would, strange. I would have liked to have seen at the beginning of this movie yeah. at least 10, 15 minutes of what made him so bad other than that i was thrilled i mean the music is i, I don't know if you can call it a soundtrack it was more like just suspense yeah the music hums. noise where are you show yourself surprise let me help you you can't help me. Like they had like the heartbeats. It felt like in the the thumps and the 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 noise. The noise that accompanied the whole movie was really well done. I don't know. I didn't look who did the music or anything, but congrats. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, and even really the sound effects. Oh, they get with that too. The waves crashing in the beginning. Oh, the beginning. I wanted to mention it's like that. thunder. This literally has like one of the coolest little openings. Yeah. Where it has the just waves, the house. and it's shooting up, and then they go up, and when they come down, there's somebody's name, yeah. and then eventually the invisible man is just dripping from that it. Was, and that it was, and it didn't a cool look fake. Yeah. It looked really cool, because they were just it was just realistic water slamming and then dropping. It yeah. was wild. So yeah, good good intro even. But overall... The audience was, seemed very pleased. We went to an early screening, and the audience was real happy. Yeah. But overall, though... Larry, you know what I'm going to ask you. Well, I was just getting ready to ask you the same question. Damn it, I'll go first. All right, go. <laughs> um, highly enjoyed it. She was excellent. Great acting all around. The suspense was really there. I really had some parts. I mean, yes, we knew what was happening. We kind of sensed some things. I called the ending and certain certain scenes. And I there. there was no... You know what they... Oh, I forgot to mention. Not a lot of jump scares. No, it's just a lot of suspense. Thank you. Thank you. Every movie we've seen this year, horror movie, has been just jump scares nonstop. Yeah. This was a departure from that, and we thank you. It wasn't like a jump scare. It was more like not knowing was the scary part, and they had a lot of that. I mean, well, can you can you call it jump scare? Can you call what we saw jump scares because it was an invisible person? <laughs> he never jumped out at you. Since one act was absolutely amazing, the other two were soft, the bad guy was soft, but the idea, the suspense, and everything else were great. So I'm going to land it right at a B-. Yep. I will say, for me, this is probably the second best horror movie I've seen since Doctor Sleep. I really did actually yep. feel some of Doctor Sleep in this movie. Yeah, there's a little bit of that spookiness, the ghost yeah, level. It's the suspense. Yeah. It's really suspenseful. You know, the acting's great. The cinematography was really good. The sound goes right with it. I I can't really can't give anything any lower than a B plus. There you go. 
Well, thank you guys. That is our review for tonight. And um, we'll probably have another review coming up. I don't know if we're going to see Onward early or not. So yeah, we may see it Saturday. Maybe. maybe. We'll see how that works out. There's only one showing and it's almost sold out. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and um, we never really got our problems fixed with Facebook. So, you know. Oh, yeah. We're gonna whatever's going to Whatever's going on there. We got, a, we got a new group. Yes. A Facebook group. Check that out. It's a lot of fun. Our page. We don't know what we're going to do with that now. Go because on. it makes no sense. The 3,300 members we had. They just gone. deleted them. And then they, we turn around, make a new page, do the exact same thing. Delete it. They put it down. They delete it. <laughs> and then... They put it back up and say we're fine, but they only give us our 95 members yes. back, not our 3,300. Yes, it so makes no check sense. out our group. Check that out. You know, even if it's just to say fuck Facebook, yeah, hit, just follow us on there. Please, please join up on that. <laughs> and other than that, guys, make sure to like, hit that. We need that, and uh, I guess that's about it. Yep, that's it, guys. Until next time, we'll see, see you, you later. Next one.